let's say you are modeling a face the first level is uh, bringing up the bigger forms into shape so uh, the popular choice could be the grab brush so i'm going to use that and then just uh, just get the shape correct okay after that you start building up uh, uh, shapes like the nose the eye sockets and all this is where you use the clay brush so clay brush can be seen here uh, there are three types of clay brushes so the first is uh, the the draw brush which you need to understand then we'll get into the clay brush so draw brush is like uh, pulling or pushing the vertex points in their normal direction and uh, we have a brush called flatten and then we use this to flatten up things so if i have to use a combination of these two tools i would use uh, the clay brush here so clay brush is uh, basically very much like your traditional clay sculpting so you put clay volumes on the model okay or you can remove the clay from the model so you can just uh, hold control for removing it or just click for painting it okay just just click and drag and then you get the clay adding over the model there okay so uh, we have other two alternative options with slight changes the one is the clay strip clay strip is used a lot in terms of uh, sculpting okay uh, because uh, this is a very a quick way to add clay volumes uh, it's a very rough stage of sculpting your model okay and then we have clay thumb which is also the clay brush but it, it's like uh, you, you are using a thumb there so uh, if you ask me what's the most frequently used tool uh, i would say the clay strip is the most used tool uh, by the most of the digital sculpting artists around so uh, in the first stage uh, they, they start building up the clays the, the secondary volumes with uh, this tool once they got the rough uh, details maybe you can uh, use this clay brush uh, when you want to work at the refined level uh, not the rough level so these two tools uh, maybe I, I would preferably use to sculpt things okay uh, so a clay brush uh, size can be controlled uh, just by using the brackets I'm using brackets to uh, increase or decrease the brush size. Uh, you can press F on the keyboard and then drag your mouse. Then you get a bigger brush. Okay. You can make a smaller brush also. You can also control this by numeric values. For that, you need to press F and then enter a numeric value. And then you have the brush size of that number. Let's say if I want a size of 30, then press F and then enter 30 on the keyboard then you get the brush of 30 size you have strength option where you can press shift f and then you yeah, drag the mouse cursor to control the strength of the brush so you are you want a less intense uh, brush you can use uh, the less strength um, you can also enter numeric value let's say i want 0 0.5 strength then you can enter 0 0.5 on the keyboard and you get that strength brush here wherever you find this icon in the brushes you can switch them on or off that will enable your graphic pen tablet working let's say if i'm using the radius here and then click and drag uh, no matter how hard you press your pen the size of the brush is not changing however you can enable that and then press very light then you get a very thin line okay i'll increase the strength it's a very thin line press hard you get a thick line so you can use uh, the pen pressure for your your benefit and there are a lot of options in the brush where you can use the pen pressure here uh, you can explore the auto smooth value in this uh, for better results uh, auto smooth generally uh, you know uh, smoothen things uh, while it's dropping the stroke there okay um, then uh, you have a plane offset if i'm using a plane offset of negative value so this plane is a c level and then when i'm adding the stroke the strokes placement to that sea level or the ground level is controlled by the plane offset by which the stray the strokes position will be shifted up and down over the plane okay you can explore these values for better results and customize uh, for your requirements there okay so uh, clay is a very um, you know uh, first tool for digital sculpting uh, to block out things so I would say that uh, go and uh, start sculpting with the, the basic uh, clay brush and you need not use any other brushes after that. Just uh, stick with that brush and then uh, explore uh, digital sculpting on your first day. Okay.